Bilbo Baggins wants to save money to meet three objectives. First, he would like to be able to retire 30 years from now with a retirement income of 16,000 per month for 25 years. With the first payment received 30 years and one month from now. Second, he would like to purchase a cabin in Ravendell in 10 years at an estimated cost of $3,75,000. Third, after he passes on the end of 25 years of withdrawals, he would like to leave an inheritance of $1.5 million to his nephew, Fordo. He can afford to save $2,150 per month for the next 10 years if he can earn an PR of 10% before he retires and an PR of 7% after he retires, how much will he have to save each month in years 11 through 30? The cash flow for this question occurs monthly and the interest rate given is the EAR. Since the cash flows occur monthly, we must calculate effective monthly rate. We will calculate APR based on the monthly compounding and then divide by 12. And this conversion can be made by using this formula. APR is equal to M into 1 plus EAR raised to power 1 by m minus 1. So the pre-retirement APR is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 raised to power 1 by 12 minus 1 and hold multiply by 12 and that will be 9.57%. Similarly, we will find the post retirement APR one plus 0 0.07 raised to power 1 by 12 minus 1 multiply by 12 that will be equal to 6.78 percent after that firstly we will calculate how much he needs at the retirement the amount needed is the present value of monthly spendings and the present value of the inheritance amount. So at retirement he needs cash flow 16,000 and it will be required for 25 years. As this is post retirement, so 6.78% will be interest rate. And we have to find the present value of NOT that is equal to cash flow into 1 over interest rate minus 1 over interest rate into 1 plus i raised to power n. So that will be. 16,000 into 1 divided by 0 0.0678 divided by 12 minus 1 over 0 0.0678 divided by 12 into 1 plus 0 0.0678 divided by 12 raised to power 
300. So present value of NOT will be equal to 23 lakh 8,397.16. So that is the present value of the cash needed. Still we have to find the present value of the inheritance amount. Present value of inheritance. At inheritance he, ha he is planning to give 1.5 million in inheritance and n will be 25 interest rate will be 6.78 percent so present value will be 1.5 million divided by 1 plus 0 0.0678 divided by 12 and raised to power 300 and it will be 2,76,373.77 so both these amounts are required at retirement so at retirement the total amount he required is total amount required 23,8397.16 plus 2,76,373.77 that is equal to 25 lakh 84,770.93 so this is the amount that he will be required at the time of retirement so the total required amount was 25 lakh 84,000 770.93 he will save 2150 per month for the next 10 years the value after 10 years will be savings for 10 years cash flow savings will be 2150 n will be 10 interest will be 9.75 percent after 10 years his savings will be equal to cash flow into 1 plus interest rate raised to power n minus 1 divided by interest rate 2150 into 1 plus 0 0.0975 divided by 12 raised to power 120 minus 1 and divided by 0 0.0975 divided by 12 and the answer will be equal to 4,29,707.29 after 10 years he will purchase cabin so the amount left after purchasing cabin is amount after purchasing cabin Four lakh twenty nine thousand seven zero seven point two nine minus three lakh seventy five thousand. That is the price of the cabin. So the remaining amount will be fifty lakh 
So we he will have fifty four thousand seven zero seven point two nine after ten years. He still has twenty years in retirement. When he will retire in twenty years, this amount will grow by nine point seven five percent per month for twenty years. So the future value is future value. Fifty four thousand seven zero seven point two nine into one plus zero point zero nine five seven divided by twelve raised to power two forty and it will be three lakh sixty eight thousand forty three point three zero. So after thirty years, he will have three lakh sixty eight thousand forty three point three zero. So when he is ready to retire, based on the current savings, he will be short short balance twenty five lakh eighty eight thousand four hundred seventy point nine three. But in actual, he has three lakh sixty eight thousand forty three point three zero. So the amount required will be equal to twenty one lakh twenty six thousand seven twenty seven point six two. This amount is the future value of the monthly savings he must make between years ten to thirty years. So we will find annuity payments using future value of annuity equation. So future value annuity is equal to cash flow into one plus i raised to power n minus one divided by interest rate so we will solve this equation for cash flows future value of annuity will be 21 lakh 26727.62 that will be equal to cash flow that we have to find 1 plus 0 0.0957 divided by 12 raised to power 240 minus 1 divided by 0 0.0957 divided by 12 so the cash flow will be 3086.25 so this will be the amount that he will save per month for 11 to 30 years to meet all his requirements if you have any questions related to finance and financial modeling you can contact us we will try our best to provide you best solutions thank you take care allah hafiz